A species is classed as extinct when there are no more individuals left anywhere in the world. Extinctions can occur naturally as a species is unable to adapt to a changing environment. However, sadly, many extinctions are preventable and are caused by human activity. So here are some causes of extinctions. So there could be one single catastrophic event, for example, a meteorite striking the planet, and this could cause a change in environment or change in climate, which means a species is no longer able to survive. Extinctions can also be caused by the introduction of a new predator. So where humans are traveling so much around the world, sometimes predators can be introduced by accident or on purpose to a new area and that will change the dynamic of that whole ecosystem and that new predator could hunt on a prey species and cause it to become extinct or it could outcompete another predator again causing it to become extinct. Disease is another factor that can cause extinctions and this might occur naturally or it could again be due to human activity and our interactions with the animals or plant organisms. Climate change is a major contributor to extinction and this is all driven by human activity through things such as releasing carbon dioxide by burning fossil fuels and a lot of this is causing extreme weather events in different places across the planet but also a general global rise in temperature. Habitat loss is another cause of extinction. So habitat loss can be linked to climate change or it can be linked directly to human activity through things such as deforestation to increase the amount of land available for farming or it could be humans destroying habitat for building houses or roads and other infrastructure like that. Another cause of extinction directly influenced by humans is hunting. And if we look at some extinction examples, we've got the dodo and the Tasmanian tiger. The dodo lived on the island of Mauritius and the Tasmanian tiger inhabited Australia. And with both of these examples, hunting was a major factor in the extinction of these two species. Now there could well be, have been other contributing factors like habitat loss and disease, but one of the main contributing factors to the extinction of these two species was human hunting. So some ways that we can prevent extinction include breeding programs. So for example, we've got a panda here. There's lots of panda breeding programs across the world and zoos play a major part in developing breeding programs and release schemes to try and increase the numbers of particular organisms in the wild. Habitat regeneration. So if there's been an area of habitat loss or habitat change, replanting trees for example to make a woodland or regenerating a heathland habitat would be important for preventing extinctions of species. Plants of course too are subject to extinction so we have seed banks which are labs which store seeds of rare plants and they can be used to breed new plants and when suitable plant those back into the wild to try and increase the natural populations. We could reduce our greenhouse gas emissions. So releasing greenhouse gas emissions causes global warming and global warming is linked to climate change and habitat loss which both cause extinctions. So if we can reduce our greenhouse gas emissions then we are going to be able to prevent some of these species going extinct. And we can recycle more because if we recycle more, first of all we're going to be reducing our greenhouse gas emissions but also we're going to be protecting the planet in terms of reducing habitat loss because the more we recycle the less we need to dig up and cut up our planet to access the natural resources. If we don't recycle we're going to have to cut down more trees, we're going to have to quarry and mine large areas of a landscape which is going to impact on habitat loss and cause extinctions. So these are just some of the prevention programmes that we can put into place to prevent the extinction 
of organisms on our planet. Hi guys, if you enjoyed that last video then please click on the screen to subscribe. You can also find all my videos in one place at GCSCRevisionMonkey.com. If you're a teacher, check out the Key Stage 3 package at ScienceSurgery.com. It contains all of the Revision Monkey videos as well as loads more Key Stage 3 resources.